Okay, good morning. It is Saturday, and I'm so excited. Um, kind of, you know, stuck in, as usual, um, for coronavirus, but um, I'm reading. Reading what I want to cook next, and this is one of my favorite books, so I'm going to share some of my ideas. So, I'm thinking that it's probably a great day for soup. So, I'm checking through the book, and one of my favorites that I haven't made in um, a long time is French onion soup made the Barefoot Contessa way. So I'm going to make my list of my things and try to be true to the recipe. I'll um, take you along the journey with me. So we're all set to make French onion soup from the Barefoot Contessa cookbook. So excited. All right, I just went shopping. I have all the ingredients right here. And uh, first we're gonna start with two and a half pounds of yellow onions. Now here's the yellow onions, but actually they're not yellow onions. There's sweet uh, Spanish onions, except for one, just to add a little flavor variation. We've got our unsalted butter. Um, hold on, I have to keep, hold on. I have to get our bay leaf. We have our bay leaf, I just didn't cut it out yet. Um, we have medium dry sherry, some brandy, and some wine. And this is just for deglazing the pan once the onions are complete. Um, the recipe calls for beef stock and veal stock mixed, but in this pandemic that where we are, I'm just using um, chicken stock, which will be great. I'm gonna enhance that my own special way um, with some better than bouillon roasted chicken base, which is amazing. And um, we got the salt and pepper and the next recipe. So we've got two recipes coming. One to enhance this is some Parmesan toasts. So take a look, Parmesan croutons or toasts. So I'm gonna take some bread, slice it up, add some olive oil, Parmesan. It's gonna be freaking amazing to and just kind of go on top of the soup. The first step is to get these onions ready. What we're gonna do is we're gonna half them and make sure all the skin and covering is off. Take all the skins off. And then from there, going to slice them down into a quarter inch, just like this. There's those pieces on the onion. I'm going to do that with all of them. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is saute a quarter pound of butter and we're going to add the onions. So we're going to wait about 20 minutes, we're going to mix them up and saute them until they're a rich golden brown. Right. And added to the onions is a bay leaf and we're going to saute that in. And the onions are still sauteing. Beautifully, you can just smell them with the steam. They're sauteing, sauteing, sauteing. We still have about 15 more minutes. All right, the onions are starting to brown. There's still some more minutes left. They're starting to get golden in color and soft. It's all about the onions for French onion soup. We are almost, almost ready to deglaze that pan. We've got everything ready. Onions just need a few more minutes. They are beautifully golden. Just waiting a few more minutes. These onions to just get a little bit soft and a little more, more brown. And then we've got our ingredients. Hello, Anna. Our deglazing ingredients. The sherry, the brandy, the wine. 
All right, you can see the onions are about ready. They're beautifully brown, goldenish brown. And we're going to deglaze the pan. So we're going to take the onions out. Leave some bits in there. All right, and start with the sherry to deglaze the pan. Brandy. I'm just going to deglazing is taking all the flavors from the bottom of the pan and just gently creating this sauce that's going to go back. The onions are going to go back into it. All right, so this is going to take about five minutes. So we want to get all those flavors off. Deglaze, deglaze, deglaze. We're just going to give it a few more minutes and we'll come back for the wine. Now we're gonna add the wine. Just stir it mm. for a little bit. Let it heat up. And then we're gonna put the onions back in. We're gonna let that simmer a little bit longer for about 15 minutes or so. All right, 15 on the timer. Okay, while this is, the onions are simmering for another about 10 minutes, I'm gonna add my secret, secret ingredients, which is roasted chicken bouillon. I'm gonna add four teaspoons, which is, um, equivalent to a cup of chicken stock. I'm just going to add it for a little flavor and I'm not going to put too much salt. Three. One more. Okay. Boy, this stuff is pretty potent. has a lot of flavor. I'm going to check it later to see if we need to add any more. All right, now we add the chicken stock. And we bring it to a boil. Look how beautiful. It's very rich in flavor. We're gonna add the chicken stock. Four cups. And then four cups. And since I added the special chicken, roasted chicken base, I'm not gonna add any salt. I'm gonna try to keep it, add the salt at the end. But I am gonna add a little pepper. Calls for um, half a teaspoon of pepper. And then we're gonna bring it up to a boil. Look how beautiful. And we'll be back once it's boiling. And now our soup is boiling beautifully, so it's time to turn it down to a simmer for about 20 minutes, and we will be ready. Next thing is to work on the croutons, the Parmesan toasts or croutons. So we will just let that simmer and all the flavors to meld together, and we're gonna work on those Parmesan toasts to top it off when we're ready to eat. Okay, so now we're going to make Parmesan croutons or Parmesan toast for the top of the soup. So while that's cooking back there, we'll um, do our bread. So we have a baguette. We want to slice it into thin, I don't know, about a quarter to a half inch rounds. And then what I've mixed up for you is some garlic and basil olive oil. We're gonna sprinkle that on top and then generously, generously uh, sprinkle some Parmesan, some salt and pepper, put it in the oven for, I think um, Ina calls it 400 degrees for about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, and then we have beautiful toasts. So here I am creating the Parmesan croutons. I'm just putting the final touches on them 
with a bit of sprinkled Parmesan. I've already coated them with um, an olive oil basil garlic mixture, a little salt and pepper, and now a final touch. So a little bit of Parmesan sprinkled on top. The oven is preheating to 400 degrees. And we go put these babies right in. And they will be ready to accompany soup. I will let you take a look at them once they come out of the oven. And now the toasts have come out of the oven. Beautiful. And the soup has been prepared. It looks delicious. Enjoy.